Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with another video for the channel. Today I'm actually remaking a tutorial video that I made about a month ago, where it's using archive.org to search the Discord attachment server. Now, at the time, I didn't quite realize the amount of power that actually had, so I wanted to remake the video and explain it a little bit better, but also throw in the fact that there is a forum for this as well as there is a section on my discord for like public leaks if you are interested in an invite only server where i am putting my emu paradise backups let me know in the comments below or on discord and i will email you an invitation link and you can register um at the moment i'll allow people in who don't have anything to contribute just to grow the community a little bit but it is preferred that you have something to contribute to the forum or to the cause. And I haven't yet figured out what the reason should be around allowing people into the private leak section, but I'll figure that out later. Without further ado, let's get into how to use archive.org for searching the Discord attachment server. So as you can see here, I have a link. Um, I probably shouldn't have made this public, but that's okay. Uh, it probably will be public eventually anyway. So as you can see, there's this really long link. And actually, I did even have it all the way to the end of what the actual file was. But that's not really important. What you want to do is you want to simply put the link here in the uh, text box for the Wayback Machine and delete everything up until the first number and just, let's say, one. Just put it as one. Now at the top, in your address bar, this doesn't matter. Ignore that. In your address bar, put an asterisk there. Hit enter. It takes you to this page where it's going to search for URLs that actually have an ending but start with you know, CDN Discord app dot com attachments one and then fill in the rest. And you can use this, as you can see, we got 10,000 hits. You can use this for searching zip files, RAR files. If you know a custom file type, you can do like 7-zip or 7-z. Uh, search image files. If you know the name of the file, let's say shiny, it's right there. Um, and the other most powerful thing about this is let's say you see that there is a uh, that's not what I wanted I wanted this because there are no index pages for it to back up let's say that there is a link you see on a forum but you can't actually click it or you see it in a screenshot or something like that you can actually take bits of that URL piece them together, and then put them in this Wayback Machine to try to find the file if it's a specific file that you're looking for. So it's really interesting how powerful this actually can be, um, mostly because overly spicy chicken nugget. I am so down for that. So basically, open up the link in a new tab, wait for it to load, click this, and it will download. I don't think Discord knows that this stuff is being archived. It's not supposed to. Um, unknown time. Wow, this is 20 megs. I'm glad this opened up on my other screen, just in case. Um, this has nothing to do with chicken nuggets, and I am upset. I am upset. This has nothing to do with chicken nuggets. I want my chicken nuggets. Damn it. <laughs> that actually kind of upsets me. I really wanted my overly spicy chicken nuggets. Um, but like, see, there's this male, whatever this is. This is probably something we shouldn't see. And a lot of the times, if the link fails here, or it has like a redirect link or something like that, you can also just take this 
And something I learned is Discord doesn't delete anything. Literally deletes nothing. This is from 2018. Still downloads even without archive.org. Discord needs to probably clean up their servers. And I'm not going to run that because that's an EXE and that's probably a virus. So in that case, let's see what it does. Do, 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 do. Oh, that didn't work. Uh, I was modding a new game, but we're just going to use this folder for temporary. So let's see what this does, because it's definitely a virus, I'm sure. It's not a virus. I wonder what it is. Hmm. I mean, I don't feel like clicking on it. I don't feel like running it, because I don't know what it is. But that just shows you, like, who knows what you'll find. I really don't want to click this. I don't trust it. But, uh... Octohacks. Test fire. So that's like some game. Here's Zlib. That's important stuff sometimes. Who knows what this is? Just release. That's probably some sort of LZ decompile. Those are LZ stuff is YGO Pro data. I love YGO Pro. I used to play that a lot. ARM9 loader hacks. That's for, uh, I believe, the DS. see what octo hacks is so it's just a bunch of python scripts cool see what this release folder is decaf launcher why is that familiar decaf launcher i don't know it's familiar my mouse is laggy that's weird but yeah there's a lot of different things you can do with this steamworks tricky towers i mean there's so much you can find and Honestly, look, SM64 online hotfix. Some patches, something else, enhancements. Hot dog boy. <laughs> uh, that's not good. <laughs> that's a demonetized. Let's see what this is, just for fun. Blobs. Blobs are usually switch on Wii U. Breath of the Wild 60 FPS patch. Some Chinese website. Pokey Ride. I don't know what that is. Pokey Etch. Quick save. Boot animation. That's for Android, probably. There's so many things you can find. It's ridiculous. So, like, RAR files as well. You can find some stuff. Basically, as long as you know, like... I don't know if I want to click that. As long as you know really what to look for look for you're usually fine and you'll with a little bit of work you'll be able to find what you're looking for so sm64 rom hack only online that's pretty cool yeah i have my doubts that discord knows this is happening Dungeon of the Endless Steamworks and Nintendo Switch Homebrew Launcher. Outrun Europa. I'm still mad that the chicken nuggets weren't chicken nuggets. Uh, that's just a crack for the game. So that's worthless. But yeah, I think you guys get the point. And then, you know, even still, if you know even part of the link, so let's say, for example, you know up to the end of here, you can go up here, paste that, asterisk, and then that's how you know that's what's specifically there. You can mess with this in so many different ways, it's kind of ridiculous. Um, so like three... They'll never start with letters, I don't believe. But there is definitely a lot you can do with this, which is awesome. And you never know what you'll find, especially with how much stuff is leaking lately. A lot of the stuff is leaking through Discord servers or through private messages. You can find links that are from private messages in the Wayback Machine this way. 
Like, look at this. There's 69,000 URLs right here. That's ridiculous. You just search zip. Say dot zip. And there's just so much stuff here. It's ridiculous. Chrome chest mod. That's probably like Minecraft or something. Halo 01. I love Halo stuff. I will always download Halo stuff. Let's see. Infographics. Source. I love downloading anything source. Super Portal 64. That's a Mario 64 mod. Some 64 online again. Some Windows thing. There's so much here, though. Mario Odyssey stuff. More Breath of the Wild stuff. For those interested in that. Uh, there we go. Come on. There it goes. Release. Who knows what this is. Ah, this is source code. This is a decoder. Now that it's an LZ decoder, and I've actually wondered about a source code for this kind of thing before. So this is pretty cool. That's a useful find. See, these are the things you can find simply just by browsing Discord's attachment servers. Like you never know. Um, I'm gonna make a folder for this stuff actually. Discord attach. Then server LZ decrypt. Like that's actually useful to keep. Valve cars. Oh, these are. That's pretty cool. I mean, nothing important because it's all just like 2D drawings, but still cool to see. I'll download these ones with you guys real quick. And then I'll probably call the video an ending. This is the Halo. Halo 01. Just sound files, nothing important. Here's a source code. No, source engine. Oh. So this is... Probably a uh, mod for um, Mario Kart. Interesting. You never know what you'll find doing this stuff. It's ridiculous. SRC is usually source code. This is a Java thing. Block events and inventory events. This is something for Minecraft. Unknown MC source. So I'll keep this, and I'll figure out what it is here in a second. Because usually in the main.java it'll say. So it's a heel block. And this is German. Translate. Translate.google.com. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. But it's some sort of mod which gives you a block that allows you to heal. That's pretty cool. Heal menu, heal yourself. And then this is the actual block itself. Pretty cool. That's a cool thing to find. So yeah, there's all sorts of weird things you can find. You never know what you're going to find when doing this. Last download, and I'll call it quits for the video. Because there's no reason for this video to be 15 minutes. Ah, Super Portal Mario, there it is. Here you go. That's pretty cool. That's something I'm going to definitely keep. Super Portal Mario. Super Portal 64. That's cool. We'll try playing that once I get a USB-based uh, controller. But, you know, that's pretty much how to use archive.org in this fancy way. Dot rar, let's say. Mine con Oh. 
<laughs> Lynx B8. Oh, that's a... God, I'm going to sound so weird for knowing what this is, but that's a modified kick app. N64 injector. Nintendo D... A bunch of injector scripts. That's sweet. I'll download those. Fuses. But yeah, see, there's so much stuff you can do. Xbox One external storage converter 1.1. There's so many things you'll find doing this. But anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're still here at the end of the video, what's a question I can ask you? What's your favorite Disney movie? What's your favorite Disney movie? I'll talk to you guys later.